150. Oh yeah, 200. <laughs> 212 and a quarter. And that's more than a quarter of a million dollars. There is confusion in the air concerning Gold Rush. Is it the same as Gold Rush Alaska? Or is the latter another spin off like we have Gold Rush Parker's Trail, Hoffman Family Gold, and Jungle Gold? Well, Gold Rush for the first season was called Gold Rush Alaska before reverting to just Gold Rush for subsequent seasons. Gold Rush is an adventure themed reality TV show aired on Discovery Channel and other channels related to Discovery Worldwide. The show follows the daily efforts of gold mining family run companies, mostly in the Klondike region of Dawson City, Yukon, Canada, as well as the US state of Alaska. In its 12th season, as of early 2021, prior seasons also included mining efforts in South America and Western North America. Of all the family mining companies, Parker Schnabels stands out, not only because they are lovable, but because they are good at what they do. In the 12th season of Gold Rush, Schnabel's crew emerged the winner, as they mined more gold than the other crew. The Schnabel crew excavated a total of 8,309.75 ounces, 258.462 kilograms. The Beats crew mined a total of 4,620.9 ounces, 143.73 kilograms. The Ness crew mined 2,074 ounces, 64.5 kilograms. And the Lewis crew mined a total of 110 ounces, 3.4 kilograms. After more than a decade on the show, with the show still in doubt for renewal, fans want to know what is really happening to their favorite miner. It's been a while since they saw him in action. Parker Schnabel was undoubtedly born for the show. As the cornerstone of the show, Parker had appeared in all seasons of Gold Rush and even earned himself a role as a host in a spin-off show, Gold Rush Parker's Trail. The spin-off seems to be taking most of Parker's time as he has to travel across the world in search of the valuable mineral that his family has always sought. He has visited Guyana, the Klondike Trail, Australia, and Papua New Guinea. In 2021, during the Season 12 shoot, Gold Rush witnessed a stake rise. And even the names of the episodes carry a hint of conflict, with titles like Ground War, Battle of the Green Hordes, and The Vindication. Season 12 also sees Parker call in heavy equipment known as Slucifer, while other members of Gold Rush face surprise inspections and seek out new locations for mining operations. Parker doesn't seem to be slowing down when it comes to working, and the result is evident that he gives his all for his family. Being a regular made it possible for fans to know that Parker Schnabel hasn't been making an appearance as he used to. Recently, Parker engaged his fans in a question and answer segment like other celebrities used to. From there, he made it clear about his absence. People who are watching Gold Rush don't see me as much as they used to. Because as soon as a business starts getting big enough, you're dealing with so much paperwork, permitting, and employee stuff and accountants and taxes and the list goes on and on. And I don't enjoy the day to day of that, but I enjoy the process and I enjoy the outcomes. Parker Schnabel, however, took his time to appreciate the mining crew that he had assembled. He said, having varied skills among miners is immensely important. And when a gold mining operation is on the smaller side, members often need to wear many different hats and engage in different jobs. But now that his company is growing, the tasks need to be divided out appropriately. Parker Schnabel then ended his segment with an appreciation post to his fans and to his team. He is grateful for having capable hands on his team who fill up his shoes in his absence and that he is sacrificing his time to run a bigger company because he doesn't like stagnation. Parker's fans should understand that being a show's cornerstone comes with responsibilities and sacrifices. Parker seems to have his priorities set right and he is gunning for a bigger role to make his goals in life achievable. In the same question and answer segment he had with his fans, a fan asked Parker the most challenging problem he faced while on a mine site. And he answered, The biggest problem that we face is just that as an industry, in the real world, they would call it the total addressable market, right? Which is, if you sell, you know, newspapers, you can only sell newspapers to so many people. In mining, in plaster mining in the Yukon, there's only so many ounces of gold in the ground, and we're all fighting for the same ounces. He explained how every mining crew reduces its chances of making it in the industry. For clarification, every miner's goal is to mine as much gold as possible. But the same gold they're mining isn't returning to the ground. Rather, it's reducing the chances of the miners having something to smile about as the year goes by. According to Parker, it is just about finding a new land that hasn't been excavated with the hope that it will bring riches in the form of gold. You know it's not all land that has gold within it. Even though they have equipment for confirming these, finding land with gold in it seems like a big deal. Parker says, so that's the big struggle, that there's this kind of, I guess what I'm trying to say is, the goal of every mining company is to put itself out of business. 
and your job is to mine as efficiently as possible and make as much money per ounce that you're finding as you can. He concluded the segment with, the entire mining model is unsustainable. Well, there is an iota of truth in that. Parker just hopes he keeps making enough money for himself and his family. Parker Schnabel is not new to mining. In fact, he began his mining career at five, working on his father's mine in Haines, Alaska. After learning the ropes efficiently, Parker Schnabel ventured out on his own. Over the years he has been mining, Parker has retrieved millions of dollars worth of gold from the ground, making him have a very robust net worth. Parker didn't just become the best on the series overnight. He is undoubtedly the best of his contemporaries on the show with his net worth to show for it. He was patient enough to learn under the tutelage of his father. However, with a fat bank account, Parker believes the industry won't last for long. As in his Facebook questions and answers segment with fans, he is also into many other side businesses. Parker Schnabel has earned quite a fortune mining gold and running his personal business. As of 2022, he is estimated to be worth around $10 million, which is quite enough for him to attract any beautiful lady he comes across. Speaking of beautiful ladies, let's know what Parker's love life is. Parker has all it takes to woo a lady, money, good looks, and brilliance. Parker Schnabel also bought his dream house worth $950,000 recently in Alaska, equipped with all modern facilities you can think of. From the kitchen fitting, toilet and bathroom fittings, to the overall structure of the house, Parker really has a taste for quality things, and love-wise, he is on the same momentum. Looks-wise, Schnabel has been compared to Adam Driver, so it's not all that surprising that he is getting plenty of interest from ladies. But you know it's hard to tell the players without a scoreboard, so let's meet the ladies. Ashley Yule Parker and Ashley Yule met in Australia after the miner invited her to spend the summer with him mining gold in Alaska. Parker described her as a calm person, but things didn't go as planned, and they both had to go their separate ways. The breakup happened during Season 7, and after Season 8 rolled around, they finally parted ways. Tyler Mahoney During the fourth season of the show, Parker sparked the air with the news of dating fellow miner Tyler Mahoney in Australia. It seems Parker and Australia have a better love story than Twilight. Mahoney was on one of the spin-off shows, Aussie Gold Hunters, while Parker met her, but their meeting never came to fruition. While Parker is free on the camera, Mahoney is shy and tends to stay away from on-camera public displays of affection. Parker's show, Gold Rush, Parker's Trail, would have helped him in the love department, but I think Parker and Morgan were just being professional with everything on the show. Well, whether or not he finds love on the show, he sure smiles to the bank after every adventure on the minefield. Sheena Cowell Sheena Cowell is another name that pops up as one of the names Parker has had a thing with. Sheena is another Gold Rush colleague, and she is rumored to be single. Hopefully, Parker will get lucky with her, and they will tie the knot soon. If not, I would suggest that Parker Schnabel change his hair colors. Maybe he would get lucky with the next lady he meets, and probably get intentional with his desires. How soon do you think Parker Schnabel will be successful in his quest for love?